Hi, welcome to the session. I'm Yuri Wong. Today, we're going to be looking at Junkie XL's theme for the Mad Max movie and how to recreate that in Logic Pro. Junkie's theme for Mad Max really does capture the dystopian, distorted future that these guys live in. And today, we're going to try to recreate the kind of sounds that we can get. The giant guitars, the huge drums, the aggression. And we're going to try to recreate the feeling of the song rather than trying to recreate the exact sounds of the song. Now, the reason why I'm using only Logic instruments is that I believe that skill sets are more important than tool sets. Granted that tools are really important, but having the skills to be able to craft what you imagine in your head and what you feel in your heart to a piece of music that can create the same feeling for other people is really, really important. So let's get to it. So where we're at right now, is we have this project on that I created about one minute's worth of um, the Mad Max theme. And uh, I'm going to play the original Mad Max theme by Junkie XL. And here's how it sounds. So this is great sounding, gritty sounding track, and um, it's exactly 80 BPM. That's why I've placed it on the project in the timeline so that I can create my sounds uh, relating to those sounds if I want to listen to them. But let's ignore that for now. And this is the track that I've created using only standard Logic Instruments. about 40 seconds worth of the track it's much longer than that but i just did this section now let's go to the individual instruments okay we're going to begin with the guitars because i think that defines the sound of this particular track and uh, i didn't use real guitars for this because i'm just expecting that a lot of you guys might not have real guitars or might not be real guitarists and i'm trying to limit to using only the logic instruments so Let's have a look at how it works. The first track I wanted to get was that big, chunky guitar sound, right? And I thought Sculpture would be a great place to start. So here's Sculpture. And um, I'm going to take out the effects on this. And I found a preset called Underplugged Instruments called Telecaster uh, that is really nice sounding like... <laughs> Okay, right now it sounds a little bit boring, but if you play on the lowest part of the scale, you hear this. It's got that growl about it. It's a bit gritty and um, you know that wobbly kind of growl. I thought, wow, that's a great place to start. So I ran it through a Logic Amp, which was uh, one of those presets which is a little bit distort. And it's already, it starts sounding really gritty and nice. Okay, let's turn this on. It's got a nice vibe about it. You know, it's starting to sound more distorted. But I know we did it more. Still sounds not fat enough. So what we did was, um, I added three octaves worth of it. So it sounds like this. By itself, it just sounds So if you add this tree, it sounds It's just that little bit fatter. So what you get with a delay, and this delay is stock standard delay. I just turned it on and left it. Um, you get is this. I'm just going to solo this.
and I quantized this to 16th notes and that was that. So moving on, I thought, you know, it's not big enough. You need more stuff, you know, sitting on top of that. And um, first thing is you can hear in the Mad Max guitars is that you can hear this little pew pew kind of thing going on top of it. So I looked for a little sound that could sit on top of the guitars with that kind of sound. And I found one in Alchemy, uh, which has that thing and it's called Arcturus. And if you listen to Arcturus, right? It's got that growl and it still has that little coming on top of it, which I really like. So if you pair that with the Telecaster, you get this. So now we're getting closer to where we want uh, the sound to get. But there still needs to be another top end because it's all very low and growly, but we need something to sit on top. And what I found was this alchemy uh, patch and uh, it's called After the Snow. And if you listen to that, it's got this. Okay, I can't more about the high end, so I added something like. And um, yeah, this one has a delay on it already. Without the delay, it sounds like this. So it's got that gritty high end that fills up the space. And I just added the standard delay as well. So all those three working together has a certain sound about it. I think it's pretty much the guitar sound that you get in the Mad Max theme. So those are the guitars. But uh, if you listen to Junkie's theme, you'll hear drums as well. So that's nice, big, hard-hitting drums. Uh, so we needed just the basis of the drums, and I found one in the drum machine designer called After Party. And you can find the kicks of After Party sound like this. So it's just the basis of it, you get that. And... Um, after that, I added this other kick that you can find under Drum Machine Designer Kit Pieces Kicks. You see a kick called Silver Lake, and Silver Lake sounds uh, like this. So it's got a bit more body about it, you know, and if you put them together, so you get the low end, you get the body, and then I decided to add one more, which is uh, under Drum Machine Designer, under Kit Pieces, FX, there's something called Stomp, Trap Door, which has this really interesting distorted sound about it. So it sounds like this. And I thought, wow, that's perfect. That's kind of in between the guitars and the drums and it kind of glues everything together. So if you put all three together, you get this big sound. And that's pretty nice, you know? And if you put together with the guitars, you kind of get, I don't know, 80% of sound already. Nice and big. And if you're thinking about the Mad Max theme, um, the first part of the track is almost completely repetitions of this tree uh, hit pattern, this tom, tom, tom. Pattern. So uh, I just copied it all across. And um, so now we're looking at the toms, right? And the toms are from this drum kit, a standard uh, drum kit they can select called Heavy. And uh, let's take out all the processing. And if you listen to it, So you got your toms here. 
and I pan them slightly to the left because I'm pairing them with something later on on the right. So, uh, okay, so there's no real EQ going on here. This was part of the preset. Uh, I added an enveloper, just increasing the attack of the drums because I needed the toms to, to be fiercer. So here's what we got. So get a bit more attack on the drums and then I compressed it. So, and what I used was uh, this vintage opto. Actually, I used a standard one called opto toms. So you can use that as well. And you'll get a much bigger sound. So it's getting pretty aggressive, isn't it? but you want it to get even bigger. So um, you need to turn on some reverb and I send it to bus six and this space designer reverb that I'm using is called Ancient Church, 6.1 seconds. It's a really big, nice space filling uh, reverb and here's how it sounds. Right? So that's all nice. Um, we need more bigness into our tom. So I added this fantastic kit that, that I really love called the European Folk Kit. You can find it under World Percussion European Folk Kit. It's got some really nice crashes, toms. And uh, yeah, I added some stuff as well. There's a compressor and a tape delay. All these are pretty standard. Send it to bus 10 and 11. And I pan it to the right, slightly, 29. And this is a really nice uh, heart attack type stuff that when you pair it with the heavy kit, here's how it sounds. Starting to sound pretty big, pretty big. I'm liking this. And um, let's play that again. So that is the sound of the drums. And if we put it together with the guitars, here's how they sound. Now, we have a little swells here and there. Um, I found them, okay, this swell here, it goes like that. It's just the part that, you know, after the drums, the things that fills the space. Uh, I found one under, uh, what was it? Analog Mono. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll just open it up. It's just a very basic dirty sweller. Um, it's on a mono synth here and a little bit of EQ like that. And these are all standard stuff. So yeah, you get that which is gritty and nicely swelling. Um, and then I added all these little things that you can see here. These are just standard logic uh, loops, Apple loops. So like this swell here. So we paired that with the swelling here and you get a little bit of, which is pretty cool. That's the vibe that you want to get, you know? It's not exactly the same as Junkies, but you kind of want to get the same vibe. So here we go. And you want it to get bigger and bigger as time goes by. So I added this buzzy string space, which you can find under soundscapes, under synthesizers in your logic library. It's the standard stuff as well. And uh, I just added a bit more punch to it because I wanted to fill the space. It sounded a bit empty. So as we went along, it got bigger and bigger. You know, at the start, there wasn't a European folk kit. It wasn't a heavy kit. And later, right before the strings coming in, I added these symbols from this orchestral drum cinema as well. It's under Legacy, Logic, Surround, under Orchestral Drum Cinema. So just these three symbols here. So that's really big, you know. Right before the strings come in. Okay, so now on to the strings. Uh, okay, this set of strings, um, I'm gonna take out the amp, I'm gonna take out the send, reverb. 
is actually pretty standard EXS24 strings that you can find under orchestral strings, full string staccato. And what's playing is uh, 16 notes, you can see here. Pretty straight up stuff. I'm going to play it for you. Sorry, I'm going to solo it. Really boring stuff. <laughs> um, okay, the first thing to do, we're going to make it interesting, is we're going to add an amp. And this is a standard, you know, Logic Amp Designer. Uh, I use a standard uh, preset, which is Modern Rock 1. And you can hear the difference already. Pretty cool. You know, let's add a reverb. So we send it to the same reverb on bus 6. Sounds good. Now we need to add this uh, pitch bend to both of them. So it's sounding pretty good already, pretty much like the track. Uh, now we look at this thing. Uh, it's a classical female ensemble. Uh, you can see it here. It's a preset under the jam pack voices. Choir, classical female ensemble. And I know it says boys chamber so else here, but that's not it. Um, they're just playing one note and it's just this note. So that's it. And just to give it a little bit of thickness, you know, to go together with the strings, like a pad. And I added something from Alchemy, which is an overdrive lead, just to give it that grittiness. And it's one of the standards as well. It's called a Beyond Overdrive Lead. I moved the perform to between simple and bright ring just to get the right tone. Um, this one is also playing singular note, but with a pitch bend, same as the strings over here. So here's how it sounds. Pretty straight up, you know, nice top layer and you put them all together, it sounds like that. That's right. And I added one more thing on top of the buzzy string space that uh, I showed you before. They're playing three octaves of the same note in 16th. And here's how they sound. all of them together, here's how they sound. And if you put them together with the drums, here's how they sound. Starting to sound really, really big. Really enjoy that. And uh, there's a synth here that I took from the Apple Loops. It's called Floor Sweeper Bass that you can find here in the Apple Loops. Um, all these here are Apple Loops, so you can find them. This is also a Floor Super Bass. I put this Twilight Noise Sweep here. Just right before it got really, really big. So because that's how Junkie did it as well. It's not the exact same sounds. And please remember, what we're doing here is not using the exact same sounds, but we're trying to create the same feeling of aggression, of transition, you know. So uh, feel free to explore different sound sets. If you feel like you found a better sound than what I have here, feel free to substitute them, explore, you know, it's all part of the learning process. Now, um, that's kind of everything. And I'm going to play it to you from the top just to give you a feeling of how the whole track sounds.
I didn't do anything fancy with the final product. I just put limiter, you know, um, yeah, on precision, gain's supposed to be down to zero. And uh, yeah, that's kind of it, you know. Uh, like I say, feel free to explore, try different options, you know. Uh, put the track on top, jump to it every now and then and see how you can emulate the kind of sounds that you have. And it's a good way to learn, you know, comparing what you've done with what the track is really like and trying to sort of emulate the style, the feel, the sounds. So there you go. I hope you learned something valuable today. It's all about learning how to craft sounds and experimenting until you get the right feeling. So keep at it. If you want to download the project, you can download in the link below. And if you like what you see, please subscribe for more of these tutorials. Bye.